All right, so we're down here in the woods now. You can get a better look of the cables. Um, in the woods, I just have them laid on top of the ground. You actually see, I mean, it's so far that way, you can't even see the house. We're about 400 foot um, down the line here. Like I said, we just got our standard, um, just, you know, orange drop cord, about 100 foot long. It's running about $16 a piece. And then our ethernet cable is just laying on the ground until it gets to the field. Um, now, when you're doing a lot of research, if you, if you are trying to attempt to get internet um, by ethernet cable a long ways into the woods, you will see a lot of people saying, you know, 350 feet is the max you can go without live without losing any signal. Um, it, I will say that is, you know, pretty accurate. However, you're not just going to drop off signal at 350 feet. Um, this is about a 400 foot run on this side. Um, and then when you go up the other side, when we go that way, uh, you're looking at another probably 550, 600 feet. Um, the way I overcome the the signal loss is actually I ran it, and like I said, what the drop cord is for, we'll come down this way. You can see my little tarp here in the woods. Keeps the rain out of this. I have an ice chest with the two cables going into it, and that's the cable going to my parents' house, which actually has the service. Um, you look inside here, we have a Netgear switch, nothing fancy, just about a about $35 switch. Have both cables coming in, uh, and then the power connection. Now, I keep it in the cooler, just obviously for the winter months it was uh, really cold. It actually kind of, the heat keeps it, um, you know, from freezing up, getting too cold. And I keep the tarp over it to keep it dry. And so far, like I said, the system's been out here for about about six months now and uh, haven't had any too many problems. Um, the biggest things I can suggest is when you are getting your cable, make sure it is the pure copper cable. You don't want copper clad. Um, and make sure you get high quality ends for the, for the connections. Uh, the biggest thing is make sure there's wires, the colors. Google the wire chart. Make sure you have the colors matching and you have good firm connections. Because believe me, you don't want to be walking, you know, a thousand feet back and forth through the woods like I did. Um, it took me forever to get them connected properly and working. Um, but now, once it's up, um, doing a signal check, coming from my parents' house, uh, they have about 64 meg speed internet. Um, once it gets all the way back to my house, it says about a thousand feet, one 550 foot run of ethernet to the switch, and then another, say, 400 feet to my house is uh, I'm only dropping down to about 50, 55 meg internet speed. So I'm only losing, you know, 10 megs. Um, so it's still very fast. There's no lag. Um, I can game, you know, PS4 works fine on the internet. Everything's fine. Um, I will say this, that the biggest um, problem I have is when there are thunderstorms, uh, the, if there's a lightning strike any, anywhere in the area, just because it is such a long copper uh, cable, you will find that the lightest bit of power surge through the ground is going to pick up on it and it's going to fry a port out. Um, so you will lose internet sometimes in the thunderstorms. So if you can turn the system off, it sometimes helps. But honestly, um, you're probably just going to have to, I have an extra switch on hand. Um, if it goes out 99% of the time, it's just fried the little port either on my router, my parents' router, or the switch down here in the woods. Um, the, the biggest thing I've done, I've purchased the warranties on the products. Um, if you have a switch with multiple ports, you just have to move the port over and kind of see which one was uh, affected by the storm. Um, once you do that, though, like I said, I mean, I have internet going to my house. Um, you know, I, it's a very, uh, it's been very reliable so far. It cost me about probably, I have probably about $300 um, getting this set up just because I did waste money on that copper clad cable to begin with. Uh, but now that it's set up, like I said, I'm, I have internet, it saved me six, seven grand, whatever charter was going to cost to get this thing back in the woods. And, um, uh, it's been very reliable so far. So I just want to kind of go over that. If you had any questions, you know, feel free to comment. Um, I'll try to answer them if I can. I know there's not a lot of videos, um, of people running it this far. Um, but really it's nothing fancy. It's just, you know, keeping it, uh, maintained, keeping the trees, try to, when you run it, like this, this is going over the creek here. Um, this is probably the only spot of the wire that I actually have suspended. Other than that, I just have it resting on the ground, except for when it comes up into the yard and the cable is buried uh, just a few inches under the ground. Um, and like I said, it works fine. I have it uh, 
I have not had any issues. Um, this has been helpful. Like and share the video. Appreciate it. Y'all have a great day.